<laughs> uh, he, he pitched good. You know, I think even to start the game, he was, uh, I think it might have been a little bit of a hangover effect uh, that he, he really didn't look real, uh, had great conviction on his pitches, you know, maybe a little doubt in his mind. And and then, uh, of course, after we got the seven, he looked like a, uh, looked like a different guy, he looked like Tommy from last year. So. I think the uh, fact that we were able to bust through like that and make him relax and then he could trust his stuff, I thought, you know, this definitely was his best outing of the year. How important were those first couple like, good plays by, by Payne and Carabiotis in the first inning? But that was big. You know, you, uh, in college baseball nowadays, teams that score first, if you go back and look at the percentage of wins, especially us, uh, it's a big deal. So being able to hold them off and, and then get a one ourselves and and the fourth inning was just spectacular. I mean, um, even, you know, Caraviotis getting a sack fly there for, I think it was our third run or whatever, and then boom, 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 boom after that. If he has a negative at bat there, that whole inning could have gone differently. So we played well, and then a uh, guy tipped your cap to their relief pitcher. He came in and looked like Jim Palmer of, of old. I'm, I'm dating myself a little bit at downer curveball and three-pitch mix, and you know, we didn't touch him, but... Luckily, we had enough runs in the bank at that point. You talked about not executing uh, some situations last weekend. You got a bunch of two-out hits tonight, especially in that seven-run inning. What, what was different from the guys? Just a more aggressive approach? Um, yeah, you know, I, I think the fact that we have more guys in the, our batting order this year that can hurt you, or that have a kind of a hitter's mentality and uh, making them pay for not hitting cutoff man and, and those type of things. and. Uh, in BB Core era, you know, it's uh, two out RBIs are, are premium, and a lot of times that decides whether you win or lose a game. That ha didn't decide whether we won or lost this game, but that's certain a lot of great two out uh, at bats in that fourth inning, of course. And I'd like to, uh, not, not like we, uh, we didn't need them tonight, and you kind of don't want to waste those. Hopefully, those will continue to show up. When's the last time you saw a Thorpe slider that effective? Uh, what's well, been in and out this year? You know, I think at times it's been that good. Uh, I think the fact that he was able to get his curveball, he, he has two breaking balls, and, and locate his fastball and get ahead uh, is always the, the big difference. You know, if guys are, they don't chase pitches out of the zone when you're not ahead. So Tommy got ahead and, and then had, had his three pitch mix going and pitched very well. George, he hit the two guys in the seventh. Was it that or the pitch count that? Said enough for this early. In the uh, he was at 96, and he wasn't going to, in my mind, unless he had two, three pitch innings, he wasn't going to finish the game. So I thought it was a good opportunity to get him out uh, on a positive note and then get Daryl and, and Jordan Spencer some work. And uh, those guys will be available for the rest of the weekend, too. So because he was at 96. You had the, uh, the failed uh, first in, in home double steal. Um, and, and I think it was the third inning. Um, was that kind of based on the one that was successful last weekend, or what was kind of the thing? Yeah, we like to, you know, that's no secret that a, all, a lot of college teams try that when they get kid has two strikes on them, and um, we did a steal stop, and they had a, the right defense set, and they execute and play catch. You know, we're, we're, most of the time when you're doing those kind of plays, you're either trying to trick them or get them to not play catch. You know, and. So when it doesn't work, you look kind of stupid. When it does work, you look smart. So, uh, but usually we give the uh, typically give the hitter two strikes to hit with, and then if it he hasn't got it done by that point, then that, that sometimes we'll try it that with two strikes. You talked about punishing him for not hitting the cutoff man. He seemed real aggressive on the base pass. Was that part of the game plan, or just as things were going? Oh yeah, um, Coach Waz and Coach Olman teach aggressive base running. We're always looking for that extra base, and we try to run teach our guys to run in twos and. Uh, when an outfielder has an opportunity to throw out that leave runner, it's automatic that the hitter is going to spin and go to second. So some of those were going to happen whether they hit the cutoff man or not, uh, simply because the flight of the ball tells us that they have a chance to throw the guy out the plate. So that's predetermined. And Coach Ullman and Coach Hambright do a good job of coaching the bases. And so when you don't throw a guy out, then it, it kind of compounds itself because another guy's in scoring position and took advantage of that as well. Any update on when Heineman might be expected nah, to come back? I, I think he's doubtful for the weekend. Uh, our fingers are crossed that maybe when league starts, he'll be good to go. Um, took a few more hard, harder swings today and really was going to take infield outfield, but didn't uh, 
didn't feel too comfortable doing that. So keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully we have them next weekend.